And we'll finish the baling after we get the combine. You gotta be kidding me. Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and uh, we are just about finished with uh, the second and final barley field. Uh, you, as you can see across the way there we have a whole bunch of uh, straw bales waiting for us over there. And uh, we are just about at the point I think where we're finished with the contract and then the rest of the barley that we pick up uh, from here will be ours. And I'm expecting it to be a pretty decent sized uh, load of barley. We already have quite a bit in the trailer there as you can see and uh, I've been just kind of managing the whole process and following along with the baler to keep up with it and so let's go ahead and get this next little strip here whilst the combine finishes the last run there try to see if we can yeah that bale messed us up uh, for getting that one little strip there so let's uh, back up here at one point I had to actually drive the combine back to the farm because I needed to repair it and the header and fuel it up now I did install a long time ago as a matter of fact a, uh, a mod it, it's basically like a field repair service but I didn't get that now because it costs money and <clears throat> Uh, I don't want to spend money on anything else except for what we need to do to <coughs> excuse me uh, what we need to do to move the chicken house and put that new warehouse in that we talked about in the last episode um, so I just and you know it wasn't that far to drive I mean the base is just right past those trees or the base I keep saying the base the farm <laughs> is right past those trees so it wasn't that big a deal to do um, but I, in hindsight, and actually I kind of didn't deliberately do this, I just kind of spaced it off, but I should have just borrowed their equipment because if you factor in my fuel costs and my repair costs, um, it's actually more expensive for me to use my equipment to do this than it would have been just to borrow theirs. I, at least I'm pretty sure it would have been. Um, in fact, I'm positive it would have been. Because, you know, even when we're done here, we're going to have to repair again and refuel again. And, you know, we're not just talking about the combine and the header, but we're talking about my two tractors, my truck, my trailers. I mean, the whole kit and caboodle. So it definitely would have been smarter for us to just borrow their equipment. But I accepted the quest, you know, without per first borrowing, not meaning to. And so, you know, we were kind of stuck with it doing it this way uh, but that's definitely something to keep in mind if you're doing contracts and you're buying a quit you're you're using your own equipment it may not be actually more cost effective to do that you might be further ahead to just borrow you know at least borrow the equipment for the largest field and then you can still use that on the other fields as long as you don't turn the contracts in uh, but anyway uh, we got through it and uh, we're just about finished here right up next to the end of the combine on the final run here one thing I've noticed is that when the AI is operating the combine they don't it doesn't seem to be as unstable as it is when I am because of the fact that we're using a larger header so it's like the game doesn't factor that in when the AI is running it so I, I found that to be somewhat interesting uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to have a whole mess of straw bales, too, because we got this field, we got that field, and we got the two smaller fields that we started on the, in the last episode. And, uh, yeah, we are going to have a lot of straw. And the plan for that, I mentioned this in the last episode, is we're, we're basically going to just use our part-time worker. We're going to pay him 100 extra bucks and have him help us load the bales uh, using the pallet autoloader, which I think will work. Uh, are you full? Yeah, it looks like you're full. Uh, which I think will work for bales, too. I hope it does. Um, because otherwise, I'm going to have to lease the square bale or pickup for almost $5,000. Or I'm going to have to use the...
there we go, uh, the bale fork, which is going to just take forever. And I, I just don't want to spend that much time doing it. Uh, so that's the plan for that. And I'm hoping, like I said, that the pallet autoloader will work with bales. I, I'm pretty sure that it does, but I just can't remember for sure. So we'll find out when the time comes here. So let's get the rest of the grain in here. I don't think we have any grain in the small trailer there. And the that definitely the majority of what's in this trailer and what will be in the trailer when we're all done is going to be our grain. Um, so it's going to be a nice, nice supply for sure. While that's loading up, let's just go move this bale out of the way because it's going to be smack dab in the way here. We'll just toss it over that way. That's, yeah, maybe move it over a little more. There we go. So I'm excited to see how much barley we're going to get from all of this and how much straw. It's going to be good. So yeah, we're, this, actually, you know what? This trailer is 2% more and it's full because because of the weight limit. We might have to actually put a little bit in the smaller trailer. Oh, I'm in the way. Let's pull out just a little bit here. I guess, though, if you ignore the weight limit, then the vehicle becomes really unstable when you're trying to drive it, which makes sense. Wow, look at that. We got it all in there. I think maybe it's actually 68% where it gets to the limit. Very cool. Okay, we got it all in there. Fantastic. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to send... The truck up to the mill but I'm I'm gonna actually dump it I'm not gonna let the worker dump her he'll dump the whole thing uh, so let's just tell it to go up there and park and then we'll run up and do it so we're just gonna do a set destination and then you can just stage right there okay and then uh, we need to get our combine back and finish the baling here let's get this out of the way here So actually, the combine's in pretty good shape, both repair-wise and fuel-wise. Yeah, this is 12% damage, and this is 13% damage. Uh, but I'll still probably repair them when we get back anyways and touch them up, and probably even top the fuel off. Uh, because, you know, the next time we do a big job like this, if we use this combine, um, we're going to... Well, hopefully I'll have that field service unit at that point. Uh, okay, so the header trailer for this is all the way back up again uh, at the edge of that other field, but I can actually drive this home as is. I think I'll do that, and I'll just pick up the header trailer later. Um, so let's do that first. I'm going to just drive this home, then, then we'll um, hop back here and finish the baling, and we might as well send you back to the farm too. So let's go here, set destination. And you can just, I don't know, stage somewhere in the yard right here is good enough for now. Okay, so we'll send him back. And we'll finish the baling after we get the combine. You gotta be kidding me. Really? Wow. Okay. Thank goodness the grain didn't spill out. Here, let's pull it down the street. And it's just about... Well, we need to flip the whole thing. So we should be able to do that by going into F12 menu and flip vehicle. Okay. I think... 
Yeah, we need to hook those up too. Okay, that was crazy. <laughs> Goodness. Goodness gracious, man. Alright, you know what? We're going to fudge a little bit here. Take a little shortcut. Rather than have these guys go the long way around. In fact, I think I'm going to... Uh, what the heck? Let's just drive it all the way there. Might as well. I mean, we're over halfway there as it is. Careful. <laughs> Man. Can you imagine if a, a semi-truck and trailer pulling a load like this actually got airtime like that? That would not be good. Something would break. <laughs> Guaranteed. Something would break. Can we get through here? Yeah, we should be able to. Okay, yep. All right, we're here. And we're going to want to use the grain door so we can control it. Tip side grain door. Yeah, it looks like it's good. Okay, just got to get ready to stop it as soon as... The uh, contract finishes. We have no, oh, 99% because these others are already completed. Uh, what happened to the third field? I never, I haven't turned anything in. We should have the other field up here for 12000 a little over $12,000 and all those straw bales. I, I, this, it's the next day in real life for me. I, you know, I, I couldn't stay up till 3 o'clock in the morning finishing this. Um, okay, that's concerning. Well, here, let's finish this. Okay, so that means that all, whoops, sorry, all the rest of the barley is ours. We have 28,422 liters of barley, um, and it should show, yeah, all these contracts are complete, but also field 70 should be on here, and it's not. It does have the straw bale still on the field, though. And I haven't taken any uh, money yet from the contracts, because we're in June. Contract income. Yeah, see, it still says zero there. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's... Let's do this. Let's send you, hopefully without spilling the load, to the train station. Uh, why don't you just... I just want to stage him and I'll, I'll dump it off. Just trying to figure out where a good spot is to stage. So he's going to come down the street here. Let's see if he can stage right here. Okay. Now, let's do... Here, let's shut this off for a minute. And I want to run over to this other field because the bales are still there. I'm not too worried about the money because I can just look at yesterday's video and find out what the money was and I can give that to myself through the admin tools. Um, but it's the bales that I want to, you know, that I want to get. The other thing is too, is the field's already dark like it's been cultivated or something. Oh, that is odd, man. Okay, can I pick these bales up? 
I can. All right. Well, as long as I can, we can come and pick the bales up. We'll be fine. And like I said, I'll just give myself the money. I'll look and see exactly how much it was from yesterday's episode. And we should be fine. But that's really weird that that contract, it just disappeared. I mean, you saw I didn't get the money for it, so I didn't actually turn it in. That's really weird, man. Okay. Well, let's do this and let's finish the bailing here first. Get that done and then I want to get the bales off of that field before we do anything else, just in case something else goes weird. I'll worry about getting the combine and all that home later. Yeah, it definitely would have been way more cost effective for me to just borrow their equipment for all of this. Because, you know, we're going to have to... Well, we would have had to repair our baler anyways because we needed, needed our baler. So I guess we can't really count that. Alright, let's squirt those two bales out. And we still have 84% in the, in the baler too. Okay, so we're finished with this. And we can send the tractor back to the farm. We can't send the combine back to the farm with a header on it. The AI won't drive it with a header on it, so we'll have to do that ourselves. But why don't you just park? Uh, maybe right there. And our truck is just about there. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I'll come back for the combine later and in fact oh lordy I'm going to take over for this driver let's get this grain in storage so this is over three full silo loads guys of barley that's like almost two years worth of feed for, the, for one chicken house man why is this so squirrely like the steering is like ultra messed up here. Hold on a second. Is my wheel there? It was on uh, auto rotation, which makes it way too sensitive for farming some year. That's what the problem was. So we'll drop this off at the grain elevator then we will go home get our flatbed and start picking those straw bales up and hopefully we won't have any issues getting them off that field that kind of went weird on us so much for the stop sign Okay, let's switch back to the full dump here. We don't need to use the grain door. Look at all that barley. It's beautiful. Chicken feed for two years, probably-ish. So we, have, we now have a total of... Uh, yeah barley 40,582 liters of barley so that's actually 40,582 divided by 9,000 yeah we have four and a half full chicken silos worth of grain here you guys four and a half so that's that is that's at least to a two-year supply at least very nice. I love it. Okay. So, yeah, let's go get our, our big flatbed and get out to that field and get those straw bales picked up before something else weird happens. Yeah, I got a lot of stuttering going on when I get into the farm. It's because of all of those pallets. All right. 
let's uh, clean this off real quick. Yeah, it looks like it could stand to use some repairing too. 23% damaged. 395 bucks. How much does this cost to repair? 869, yeah, we might as well. Even though we're not done using it yet, so I'm not gonna wash the truck. Okay, let's get this parked. And then we'll pull the flatbed out. Okay. So uh, we'll just we'll just pretend that we called up our worker and he's gonna meet us out at the field and help us load the truck. And we're gonna give him an extra hundred bucks for helping us out with that. Actually, you know, those are pretty <laughs> those are pretty big bales. Um Maybe he's going to have to bring bring his buddy with him to help him. And so we'll pay his buddy 100 bucks too. So it's going to cost us 200 bucks to load those up. Here's our header trailer. Okay, I hope this works. Ah, it does. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get these bales picked up. Okay, looks like that's a, a full load. Man, that's pretty slick, you guys. That, that's better than using the the auto pickup trailer for two reasons. It's faster, and we have the auto pickup trailer can only hold 14 bales at a time. What do we have on here? Two, four, six, eight, nine times three is 27. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Yeah, so 33 uh, bales on here. Uh, in one load. That's really nice. You know, one thing I do need to tell you, though, is that my workers are kind of complaining that uh, these bales are way heavier than I led them to believe, so <laughs> they want more money. <laughs> oh, boy. We should keep them happy because I'm probably going to use them for this in the future. <clears throat> so I agreed to give them both um, 250 bucks a pop, so they're they're happy with that. It's still, you know, five, it's going to cost us $500 to use their help, but that's still way beats what we would pay for renting the, you know, the square bale auto loader. So it's worth it. Okay. Well, you got to make sure we don't tip this load over, man. Yikes. Okay. I think we're okay, but I don't want to, I want to take any chances. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. We have... We have 297,000 liters of bales, and we didn't even get that whole field done yet. Oh, this is crazy. 
I wonder if we're going to even be able to store it all in our, our straw storage. I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? Wow. Such a good deal, though, man. If you think about all the barley and all the straw we got from those contracts. Pretty doggone good. Oh, man. I wonder if these bales are going to cause us some grief. These round ones. Because <clears throat> they're not, you know, they're not turned into silage yet. Let's just see what we can do here. So the thing that's going to happen here is we're not going to be able to get all of those in the load zone. So we're going to probably have to have our helpers push a few of them in. But I want to make sure we're close enough to it. So the ones that do fit uh, get in there. All right, let's try that. So we want to unload on the right side. Man, our workers are fast, aren't they? They really put that hay in there quickly. And then we'll just have to do this to get the rest of them in there. So that gets us up to 686,145 liters so far. Of course, we, you know, we had some straw in there before, too. All right, you guys. Well, um, I'm going to keep doing the straw. Actually, before I let you go here, um, let's, let me look at something real quick. Hold on a sec. Okay, so the money for that for field 70 was $12,116. Um, but we're not going to be able to turn it in here. So what I'm going to do is pay myself for that contract as if we turned it in. Okay. Um, but we still got to get the rest of the bales, of course, off the field. So I'm going to go around and get all the straw picked up off of all of the fields in the same manner as we just did. All right, guys, we are picking up the last of the straw here in field 68. Uh, I went and got the straw off the, the two smaller fields as well, so that's been picked up. And so we'll get this last load, and take it back, and man, we have a bunch of straw, that's awesome. All kinds of straw. We still haven't filled the the barn up completely though, but it's uh it's got a lot of straw in it. <laughs> like a lot. Okay, cool. So that takes care of that. Uh, I still have to come back out and get the combine and get that home too. Um I don't know if I can trust a driver to take this back to the farm. Suppose we could try it, but I'm a little bit leery after seeing that AI worker crash our load of grain earlier. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, let's save the game before we do this, so that way if it really go south on us we can at least reload here okay so set destination i want you 
to just pull along the field, say here, and then I'll take it from there. So see if you can at least get it to there without screwing anything up. So we're going to drive this home and then I'll come back out and get the header trailer. Um, you know, just with one of the tractors. Uh, we're not going to fit through there, so we're going to have to drive up along here and then carefully go over the tracks. So I'll, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back at the farm. All right, we made it back without incident. So let's go ahead and get things cleaned up here. That's 14% damage and 14% damage. So we'll top we'll top them off. That way they're in pristine condition for the next time we use them. And I might also run the combine over and just top off the tank on it too. Yeah, that looks pretty clean. Three nineteen for the combine and seventy four for the header. Beautiful. Let's just drop this off here. And we'll go top the tank off. I am going to get that service uh, unit. Uh, but again, I just don't want to spend money on it right now. Because we have higher priorities. Got a car coming there. Are you going to turn? Yeah. Okay. The AI worker supposedly made it back to the field over there. I haven't went uh, gone over and checked on him yet. Okay, top off the the Deutsch Far here. That was 117 more dollars, but remember I filled this up earlier too off camera, and that I think it was like more like 700 or something. It was really expensive, but that's to be expected from a big farm implement like this. Okay, very good. Thank you, Combine. You did good. Let's get this guy parked next. This is a nice little trailer. Served us well so far. I've seen it come up for sale multiple times, too. Uh, we're not going to repair the McCormick quite yet. Uh, the Brantner is 528. Okay, see if I can set this down without tipping it over. There we go. You set your mind to it. You can get her done. All right, let's close the cover on this. Keep the critters out of it. Nice, Keep it nice and clean for the next load of whatever we put in here. That's good. Okay, uh, I'm going to run back real quick and grab my header trailer. This is definitely something you could move in real life, uh, too, by the way. That's not unrealistic at all. Having uh, two human beings load up those 
40 liter bales though. <laughs> I don't know about that, but we're not gonna we're not gonna worry too much about it. We're just gonna call it good. Uh, we can't be 100% realistic. We just can't. I don't want to be. I want to be somewhat realistic, but not 100%. Okay, uh, let's see. We're done with you. For now, anyway. Uh, but here again, I'm going to hold off on repairing the tractors at the moment. Just because it's so expensive to do that. They will eventually get repaired. Never fear. But we might let them go just a little bit longer first. Oops. All right, now let's uh, cruise on over to our truck and finish this job here. And then we can send our workers home and pay them their money for all of their help. Make it them all in there? Yes, it does. All right, that gets us up to 1,699,481 liters of straw. Isn't that awesome, man? I love it. It looks so awesome. It's great. And and we still haven't filled this thing up yet. I mean, you know, I'm assuming it comes all the way out to the, you know, to the edge here. That looks so cool, though. We can even jump up in here. And have a roll in the hay. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so uh, let's send our workers on home. They they did a good job today. Uh, they did such a good job that I'm actually going to give them. Uh, what did what did I say? Two fifty a piece. Let's give them three hundred a piece. Give them a little extra bonus. All right. Thanks, guys. Go re go rest your back. I'll call you next time I need you. <laughs> okay. So we paid them guys. Oh, we might as well turn in our contracts too. We're finished with them. Um, so complete, complete, and complete. And I knew those fields were going to come back up for cultivating. Look at that, another $12,000. Well, you're going to take that, um, but we're going to use our own, well, no, nah, let's just use our own stuff. We got a, we got a big cultivator. Except for, again, it goes back to what I said about the repairs and stuff. Eh, maybe we'll use theirs. We'll borrow that stuff, but then we'll just use these on the smaller fields. Okay. That'll bring in some extra money. We actually need it because we still don't have enough money. We don't have enough cash on hand to get that new building in, move the chicken house, and do all that stuff. So that's actually a good thing that we got those cultivating contracts. It's too bad we didn't get the one on the other big field, too, because that would have been another twelve grand. All right, you guys. Well, I think what I'm going to do is wrap up this episode here. And I'm going to go do those cultivating contracts. And then I'll bring you guys back in the next episode. And we will, uh, we're going to continue to stay in June 1st. And we're going to get that new warehouse and get the chicken coop moved. Um, the chickens should still have a little bit of food. Yeah, they'll be fine until tomorrow. And, you know, actually, too, I'm talking about moving these, but we should just sell these chickens and get new ones because they're, you know, they're kind of getting up there in age. I haven't noticed a decline in, in the egg production with them, but it'll probably start happening soon. Um, so we might as well just buy, buy some fresh chickens, but I will buy adult chickens so they're, uh, you know, so they're immediately producing eggs for us. So, yeah, um, I will bring you back in the next episode after these cultivating contracts are done. So we have uh, enough money to get that new warehouse, get the chicken coop moved, and that will be the focus of the next episode. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. See ya.